Let us go through the main points of the lesson Movements of the Sea. Unlike the calm waters of pond or lakes, ocean water keeps moving continuously. Ocean water may kai tarha ke movements hote hai that can be classified into waves, tides, and oceanic currents. When the water on the surface of the ocean rises and falls alternately, they are called waves. Sometimes a huge tidal wave called tsunami is formed due to an earthquake, a volcanic eruption or underwater slide. Tsunami is a Japanese word which means harbor waves as the harbor gets destroyed whenever there is a tsunami. The rhythmic rise and fall of water twice in a day is called tide. Tides are of two types, spring tides and neap tides. Spring tides are also called high tides and neap tides are also called low tides. Tides help in navigation and fishing. The oceanic currents are streams of water flowing continuously on the ocean's surface in definite directions. The ocean currents are of two types, warm current and cold current. The warm currents carry warm water. They originate near the equator and move towards the poles or higher latitudes. While cold currents carry cold water. They originate near the poles or higher latitudes and move towards the tropics or lower latitudes. Let us know some major oceanic currents in the world. The Gulf Stream Current is a warm current. The Labrador Current is a cold current. The Kuroshio Current is a warm water current. And Kuril Current is a cold current. The ocean currents influence the weather and climate of the coastal regions. The places where warm and cold currents meet provide the best fishing grounds of the world. For example, seas around Japan and seas around the eastern coast of North America. They also lead to foggy weather which makes navigation difficult.